Hello, this is Lauren from SEO Tools for You. I'm uh, going to present uh, another video tutorial on how to change the banner image in uh, WordPress blog. Now, this um, this happens to be my uh, website, SEO Tools for You, and uh, it's actually running the cut line theme just down here by Chris Pearson. Um, I believe he's got a few uh, new themes coming out, uh, which look actually absolutely spectacular so uh, you might want to check that out but uh, you can definitely visit my site here just by typing in SEO tools for you dot com and you can sign up to any uh, further videos uh, by uh, signing up uh, here on my opt-in list and uh, so getting back to the um, the image now this is this is a standard default image uh, that comes with the uh, cut line theme and uh, what I want to do is replace this image for something that's a little more relevant to my topic of search engine optimization tools this isn't too bad as a as an image goes it's fairly generic but if I look at a, a detailed post on my blog and just by clicking the title here you can see the image on the this page for the detailed post is actually not really relevant to my theme of my blog so just going back here so what I initially want to do is um, see what size, what dimension this image is. So what I could easily do is to save the image as and save it to my local drive. But what I need to do once I finish changing this image is I, I actually need to get it back up to the location on the uh, blog that is hosted on a domain host. What I'd like to show you is actually uh, going straight in and using the FTP server. And in this case I use FileZilla, which is a really good and free FTP program FileZilla up here and I've logged on to my blog if you do not know um, how to FTP or what FTP is I'll create another video it should be in the blog SEO tools for you very shortly what I've done is I've I've gone to my SEO tools for you dot com and you have to go under the WP dash content and themes so if you want to pause the video at any stage by all means to keep up with what I'm doing on your own blog for instance by all means go ahead and hit the pause button just continuing on under the WP content there's a subdirectory called themes and that's where all your themes are stored double click on uh, the theme in question that I'm using at the moment is cut line 1.3-3 column split and under that directory there's an image directory and that's where all your headers are stored so I'll just download it again. I'll highlight there's actually five images, five header images, which I'll download at this stage. Right click, download, and I've already got them on my uh, local drive, so I'll just hit uh, override five times. Okay, one more time. So now I'm just going to go into Photoshop. And I've opened up the image header1.jpg, and I can see that I've just expand it to 100% what I want to do is find out what the image size is so I just go up here image size or alt control I get used to using the hotkeys yes it's 970 wide and 140 pixels high so what I would like to do now is I've just picked up this image and I'd like to create this image in this format in this size so what I'm going to do with that is resize it to 140 high so I'll just once again go into image image size change the height to 140 okay and now I need to change the canvas to 970 so it's all control C and I'll anchor it to the right height is 140 and I want to change that to 970 okay I have another image that I might put on the, the right side of that image, so I'll have to do the same process to that. Um, change that to 140 high. Okay. And this one's going to actually fit right into the image here that I've created. So, And what I need to do is just go into this image here, highlight that, create a layer and we've got a new layer SEO one image go up to this image um, I've got rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to highlight the whole image edit copy and just highlight that image and 
paste. So it's pasted there. Just go up and select this tool here, the move tool. And I can just move it around here. So once again, I'm not any expert in Photoshop by any means. I, I just know a few of the more simpler steps. And hopefully this will assist you in creating your banners. So that's got the uh, two images here. And uh, what I can do is also just highlight that and just select, just move that around here. So just to uh, give it a bit of white space on either side. Okay, I'm just going to create another layer. And from there, I'm going to go in and add some text. Okay, the text tool. I'm just going to write SEO tools. Here.com. I can just move that over here. Change the actual font. I'll just pause it, go find a, a, a font that I uh, like, and I'll come straight back. Okay, after about a thousand different attempts on picking a font, I've uh, chosen this one, Nyala. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this turns out. Uh, so with the actual text selected, what you can do is this uh, nice effect. Uh, Right-click and go into, let's see, go into blending options. You can do a, a drop shadow. As you can see, it's uh, that doesn't look as clear as it could do, but uh, what I often do is do an odor glow. So it just gives you a bit of definition in the uh, the fonts. So I'll just leave it at that. Oh, the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing is, uh, so I want to change it to um, go down a bit darker. Let's see how that looks. Do the check mark. Okay, it's looking uh, reasonably okay. Okay, so uh, there's a nice little um, uh, option here, save for web and devices, that gives you control over the file type and also the size and it gives you the download speed for downloading on the web. And you can see here the GIF uh, setting 128, it will uh, download in six seconds at uh, a low speed so you can actually change it and see uh, if we've got uh, reasonable speed here, so it's pretty pretty quick. Um, the size is uh, 26K. What I'm going to suggest is download, um, select the JPEG high. And you can see that's even a smaller file size down here. So we'll save that over the uh, header one and replace it. Okay, we'll go into the FTP server, refresh. And you can see it was updated. It's a smaller file size. We'll right click and upload, and it's going to say uh, overwrite. Yes, we'll overwrite. And we'll go to. Oh, um, that was one thing I wanted to mention. I uh, failed to do so. Uh, but uh, here's a v fantastic site for finding fonts dafont.com. And you can just go through and look at the various themes of fonts. Um, and it's um, once you select the font, say. Uh, you can just download it, so it's a great uh, resource for uh, coming up with fonts for your headers. So I'll just refresh the, the home page on the SEO tools for you. And we can hopefully see the updated image. Okay, so that's how to replace the banner for your uh, blogs. Uh, if you want more tutorials, please uh, either have a look at SEO tools for you, that's Y-O-U, on the YouTube channel and by all means uh, subscribe to that channel if you could um, to get the keep up to date and also uh, you can uh, have a look at this uh, website here and you can sign up uh, don't worry I'm not going to uh, spam you but I'll just be putting out uh, um, information on uh, video uh, tips for um, enhancing your blogs and your SEO traffic so thanks for watching and stay tuned for another video thank you bye bye